Hello everyone, this is KK from PCHCP. Welcome to the channel and today I want to talk to you about my personal rig and I have here the Gigabyte U 2442N Gaming Ultrabook Laptop. Now this laptop comes with Windows 8.1 Pro with a CPU which is a third generation Ivy Bridge i5 32 tenth mobile processor that clock at 2.5 GHz to 1.3 GHz. Now this is the body is aluminum finish and the bottom is plastic but the display on here is a 14 inch HD plus 1600 by 900 LCD display which is a matte finish but uh, it's pretty good but the system's memory is 8 gigabytes of DDR3 that can max out to 16 gigabytes now the chips on here is a mobile Intel HM77 Express chipset now the Intel HD graphics which is 4000 with an NVIDIA GeForce GT640 2GB edition which comes with Oculus uh, technology and the storage capability on here is 128GB M SATA SSD and you also have an option for a 750GB or a 1TB mechanical hard drive now it does have two 3.0 USB ports and two additional 2.0 USB ports that are chargeable ports for cell phone devices, etc. etc. And it comes with the HDMI ports, it comes with the microphone and head, uh, microphone and headphone jack, SD card reader, and your AC uh, jack adapter. Now, the two watt speaker on here is pretty dull, it's, it's not exciting, it's not bassy, it's not, it just sounds really tiny. But it comes with uh, a LAN Ethernet uh, port, which uh, which is good, and also has the capability of supporting the the wireless latest wire wireless 802.11 A B G and then Bluetooth version 4.0 has a 1.3 megapixel camera with the Kensington lock, and the prominent battery on here is a 4400 milliamp hour battery rate. It lasts about three hours on medium use, but with gaming, don't don't expect to be gaming for more than an hour on this device. So it does drain a lot of juice. So, but uh, the weight on this is about 1.59 kilograms, which is about mm, 3.5 pounds. So we're gonna test boot times here, too, so you guys have to understand how fast this little laptop is. It's not little, but and that was about six seconds flat so if i was logging that would be about seven seconds so it's, uh, this is a really good laptop it stands up to its name i love the gigabyte i love the features of the gigabytes i preferred gigabyte because i never had any issues with gigabyte other than a motherboard going crapped out on me a few years ago but they were so nice enough to send that motherboard first and then i was to send the the default motherboard back but here is like some LRT uh, key notification and in room or in nighttime you see it, it lights up blue so you know what is active what is not active but other than that um, the mouse pad itself is pretty nice too now I would recommend turn off the acceleration point on the mouse pad because when you want to get from point A to point B it kind of goes over so I recommend turn off the accelerations, but it has a nice creepy texture to the mouse pad in which Gigabyte is probably intermittent on all their laptops. Now this is pretty much a good laptop. Now the display here is pretty gorgeous, I have to say for a 40 inch. But at the beginning I felt that the colors were looked a bit washed out, so I have to manually adjust the color uh, saturation just a bit in the contrast. But uh, at 100, 180 degree angle as I'm doing here, you can see that after a certain point it kind of washes out. But mm, it's going to be me looking at the video content or whatever I'm watching on the laptop. So it doesn't really matter uh, what other people may think about the laptop. That's their personal opinion. This is my opinion. But other than that, this is a pretty solid and really good laptop. But uh, if you guys are curious about the shutdown times, it's about three to four seconds. So it's, uh, 
bear with me but thank you for coming to watch this video I, I appreciate it uh, it took me time to make this video it actually took me about 20 days but uh, thank you for watching uh, and please do subscribe if you like uh, maybe I have another video in the future but thanks for watching take care